Hi everyone. Today in this video we will try to see how we can use git for local folder restoration or backup we can say. So here is our folder named code and we want to make sure that if anyone accidentally or intentionally added anything to this folder or modified any existing files then we should be able to revert back to a an original version automatically so first of all let's take a backup of this folder why backup because we are going to try something and that may end up badly so remember this golden rule take the backup before you try to do anything with your code base so while it is taking some time about 30 seconds it, it is going to take uh, I can tell you that I have this restore batch file with me which I will be talking about separately and this will be the file actually which will do the restoration. First we need to make sure that we have taken the backup. Uh, sorry I have taken something large code base for this test. Okay, so let's rename this as and now create another blank folder, name it code base. So uh, I'm assuming that we have installed Git, whatever uh, version is available to you according to your operating system, you need to install Git. And I'm assuming that Git is working from the command prompt. So let me go to the command prompt here. Okay. Here are our three folders. Code one is our main folder, which we want to take off. So lots of files are there. Just use git init command over there. Now, if you will use git status, you will see that lots of files here. So let's add all of them. You will see a warning of the line feed character, which you can ignore. It depends on your code base actually. In code base, this issue was there. If your code doesn't have this thing, you will not get any so let's do the commit now first okay. now see the status nothing to commit so now we need to add a very specific command. Before doing that, let's go to code base and also initialize the repository here. Now check the status. So it is at initial commit. And now we need to go back to our main folder code add git to remote add origin now we can use this folder code base okay in the folder of code base we will uh, let me use we will set the code to code base and code base to code. That's it. Now let's try it. Because now code base is still blank. Nothing is there because code is in the code folder. So let's do a pull origin marker. Now all code will be. Uh, 
it is yes code has been this folder that's all you need to do so let's check now let's go you can see the code is there in the man folder and it is also in the now suppose if something has uh, some someone has added a file or two file you can say and also changed something in existing file Okay, uh, let me bring the notepad to you. Like lots of things are there. Okay, I just changed just for sake of uh, changing. Forms not. Change this file and have added. So what I want that these changes should be reverted automatically. Okay, let me take this. Now this restore batch file. So I see that okay, this should be the folder. Remove this for second. I'll remove this. Copy. So this is just three line file. If we will run this file, it will revert back to the original. code check yes new files are there back to the uh, main folder where we have restored our batch file let's try to yes and let's see you can see that those file has been removed and even our file has been reverted to so now there is a task that if you really want to add something to the code base now you need to remember that whatever you will add in the code folder it will be removed so if you want to do any changes in your code base you shouldn't be directly doing your changes in your code. go to the code base and like okay create a new file ml in, into this one in, save this ah. yes yeah. let's go to this You need to if it is a new file then you need to add it to the git base it are for adding everything so we will check the status it is saying that new file is there now commit this file a is for all which you can remove if there is only one file. m is for the message new file commit is necessary in this case. Ah, sorry. Command prompt. So let me go back to my this for. So if we will go to the code and if we will do the git pull origin master. This code folder has been created. Check. You can see that this origin URL has been set. We will do a code for pull origin master patch, and now you can see. 
टू एस टी एम एल आओ इवन इफ यू विल रन योर रिलीज स्टोर बैच फाइल इट विल नॉट बी रिमूव that's how you need to do your feature operations so there is one thing left i think which is that in the restoration you can always do the git pull origin master in the end so what it will do that if there is any committed change in the code base folder it will be taken Will do. It will go to the directory. Uh, this one, and what you can do that you can set this restore batch file in your scheduler, your Windows scheduler, and Windows scheduler as you know. Um, For this, thank you.